Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off-campus opportunity and this is probably the biggest hiring opportunity of 2025 for college students. So if you don't know by now, Zoho is having their Zoho Clicktrix 2025, which is a coding contest by Zoho that they use for hiring. And for this hiring, you will not be having any interviews, you will not be having anything. All you need to do is take part in this coding contest, this hackathon, and you'll have a great chance of not only winning cash prizes, but getting hired by Zoho. And there is no eligibility for this. Anyone can apply. As long as you're a second year student or a third year student or a fourth year student, you are eligible for this. Okay. So if you're 26 grad, 27 grad, 28 grad, you are eligible for this. And with this, you'll have a great chance of getting shortlisted by Zoho. I know people who have taken part in this hackathon and are now successfully working as a software engineer at Zoho. So let's take a look at this hackathon. Let's see what all it is about. And let me explain to you how you guys can prepare for it and eventually win this. So the registration for this has opened just today. As you guys can see, number 10 registration starts and then you'll have educational webinar and all. And number 25 is the last date to register. So you have a little bit of time. But the main thing I'll suggest is to apply ASAP. Okay. Now, let's take a look at what it is and basically how you can prepare for it. Right. So as you can see, ClickTrix is Zoho's annual app building contest. Okay, so it is an app building contest or a bot building contest. It's a hackathon sort of, right? So you can do two things. Either you can build a productivity app in Zoho Click or you can build a website, bot or widget in Zoho Sales IQ. So you can choose either one of these two things and there you have to build a app or a website, bot or a widget basically, right? So it's a dev thing only and it's not that difficult. I'll tell you what you can use. But before that, let's take a look at the cash prizes and all. So the highest cash prize is 1 lakh, then you have 50,000, then you have 25,000. But more than that, the most important thing is that you're getting an internship, which is obviously more, you know, worthwhile than any amount of cash prize. If you get to intern at a company like Zoho, which is one of the fastest growing companies of our country, basically, right? So that will be more worthwhile than anything else. So this is the timeline. Have a look at this. This is what you have to do. Let me tell you how you have to do it as well, right? Don't worry too much. So let's take a look at the rules. So you can in participate individually or as a team of two. Okay. So you can either participate with a college friend and you don't need to have the other teammate from your college. You can have inter-college team as well. So if you're in one college, your friend is in another college, you can take part together. That is fine. And like I said, the eligibility criteria is pretty simple, open to all as long as you're second year to final year student, 26 grad, 27 grad or 28 grad. Okay. And you have to be an undergrad engineering student for any stream or you can be a BSc CS student. Okay. So as long as you're doing bachelor's degree in computer science or a related field, you are eligible for this. Okay. Now let's take a look at the app criteria. So you can do only one submission, whatever app you're making, whatever app you're building. You can only submit it once. Okay. You cannot make updates and all things to it. So you have to finalize it before you basically, you know, send it off. So the submission, like I already said, should be either a click extension or it should be a website bot or widget sales IQ, the website, or it can be a part of a click extension. So these are the two things that you need to do, or you'll have the option of. So you can read about it, but of course, let's, we'll see, we'll be seeing these things in detail, right? So. The first thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to register for it. Then you'll get a welcome mail. You'll have webinar. So first thing and one thing that I really like is that they'll have educational webinar for contestants, meaning that they will be teaching you also. So you'll be getting training also, right? Because of course, the technologies we'll be working on will be new because we'll be working on Zoho's technologies. So it'll be new. So they'll give you a webinar. They'll give you training as well for this. Okay. So you can register for it. And like I already said, these are the two things basically that you can work on, right? All right, now let's understand how exactly you have to do or what do you have to use. So you have the option of using two things. One, you can use the programming language by Zoho itself. So Zoho has a programming language, right? So you can just use it. You have the option of learning it right now. I'll give the link to this in the description box. You can pretty much learn it. So this is their own programming language, basically. So either you can use this or you can use Catalyst by Zoho. So Catalyst by Zoho is platform as a service and this supports Java and Python. So you have the option of doing these both. So you can either use this programming language by Zoho or you can use Catalyst by Zoho. Both options are there and I'll give you resources to learn both of them. Now, apart from that, if you take a look at uh, the past contests and the past winners, then William M has been one of the past, you know, contest participant who's working at Zoho. So I'll give his link 
I'll give a link to his GitHub basically what he has done, you know. So learn months ago what he had created for this contest. So as you can see, Basecamp was a whole click. I'll give a link to his GitHub as well. So you guys can just, you know, go through his GitHub and get a good idea of what he has created. So that you'll get some inspiration basically, you know, you'll get some understanding of how things are done and what exactly you need to do. So you can go through all of this and with that, you'll get some inspiration, you'll get some idea and I'll give you some learning resources. But of course, they will also provide you some training and learning resources. It's not like you have to worry too much about it or you have to, you know, spend too much time about it. So this is pretty much everything about it. You can learn more about it. You can read more about it. You can go through the rules and FAQ. But the crux of it is what I have already told you guys. Okay. And right now we're seeing a lot of internship opportunities for 26 grad, 27 grad, 28 grad. And right now we're seeing a lot of opportunities for internship for 26. Soon enough, we'll start seeing for 27 as well. If you take a look at my channel, the last couple of videos have been about internships, right? So companies are hiring. It's not that companies are not hiring. You have Panasonic that is hiring. You have multiple internship opportunities that, that I talked about in this video. You have Visa hiring freshers, you have Siemens hiring fresher, you have IBM hiring fresher, you have Airbus hiring intern. So you have multiple companies that are hiring, right? So it's not that the opportunities are not there. The opportunities are coming and a lot of opportunities will come in the future as well. The only thing you need to do is make sure that you're prepared for them. Okay. And you need to make sure that you're working on your resume so that your resume is getting shortlisted. A lot of times I see people and their resume is not having the right content. It's not having the right things that is going to make them get shortlisted. So you absolutely need to work on your resume is the one thing. And the other thing is you need to work on your preparation, which is why I made this 90 day placement preparation roadmap video, right? For this is for all freshers, college students, everyone who wants to get a job right now, they need to see this video so that you will understand what you need to do for the next three, three months. Because let me tell you guys right now, what it is right now we have like it's 10th of November, right? Soon enough, you'll have a lot more companies hiring. You'll have December, January. See, in the next quarter, starting January onwards, you will be seeing a lot of hiring. And if you're not ready for that, then all of those openings you will be missing out on or you'll be losing out on them, which is something that I do not recommend at all because you have to treat every opportunity right now as being extremely important. So you have to be ready for it. And if you want to know how you can prepare accordingly, you want to know how you can basically, you know, work on your resume, you want to know how to improve your resume, you're not getting a call back, you're not understanding how to prepare DSA development or anything, and you need one-to-one -one guidance, you need, you know, support in that, then you can connect one-to-one -one with me. I'll give you my top mid link in the description box. From there, you can connect one-to-one -one with me and I'll connect with you. I'll guide you, mentor you one-to-one -one, and make sure that everything that is needed by you to crack your dream company, you are able to understand and get. I've already helped hundreds and hundreds of students. You can check the testimonials out on my top mid. So you can connect one-to-one -one with me. I'll give the link in the description box and make sure that you're fully prepared for the months to come so that whatever opening is coming at your hand, you are able to go end-to-end -to, -end to it, okay? So this is again a great opportunity. I highly recommend that all of you guys take part in it. Of course, it is open to all, but first year students, anyways, you cannot get an internship, right? So mostly it's for second to fourth year students. That's what they have mentioned as well. So a great, great opportunity. Let me know if you want more details and I'll try to make another video about this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.